Okay, uh, I tried recording through Zoom and it didn't work, so I'm just doing a quick little video here and hopefully that will work. Um, but this is to go over our force mass acceleration lab if you were gone when we kind of walk through the meaning of the graph. So uh, I'm going to take it one graph at a time. First you had the acceleration mass graph which looked like that. Most people linearized it. Some was easier than others and we got a pretty straight line with close to a zero intercept. Uh, again as you watch this you can look at uh, your data in um, on the Google slide to follow along to see how it worked. But um, Essentially, uh, we came up with the model acceleration, which I'll just use A, is equal to the slope times 1 over the mass. And so um, what we did then was looked at the Google slide, and we noticed that for some groups, not all, uh, but a couple groups, the slope that we had in the columns was equal to the um, net force and uh, it wasn't perfect but a few groups had pretty good numbers so we then said that uh, area was equal to force which we called net uh, over times one over mass so that's kind of our new model and then I had people and you can pause this and try it if you want to find the units of slope uh, and units of slope is meters per second squared Per, a lot of people made this take not kilograms but one over kilogram and so a little math would get us to um, if you multiply by the reciprocal you'll get a kilogram meter per second squared and since this is the force uh, we called this define this as a Newton so that's what a Newton really equals is a kilogram meter per second squared and so going back then to the formula, um, acceleration equals F times 1 over mass. Well, this is a pretty popular, famous, the most famous um, formula, which is the net force is equal to the mass times the acceleration. And so this was Newton talking about unbalanced forces and he said if they're not balanced and there's a force on it it will accelerate and so that based on its mass so um, that is what we call Newton's second law and that was the big takeaway uh, I'm going to run through the other graph real quick uh, you'll, it'll look familiar when we end this one was linear and we had uh, acceleration then equaling the slope times the force and uh, this one was a little bit crazier in terms of units um, our units for this slope would have been meters per second squared per a lot of people said Newton's but I had them go back to the definition of a Newton which was a kilogram meter per second squared so that is a huge unit but it will reduce itself um, to essentially one over kilogram uh, and this experiment didn't work out as well uh, and so I had people go to the uh, the slide and take one over their mass um, and that should be in a good lab equal to the slope. Uh, a couple of people had some pretty good data, particularly in fourth block. So if you want to look at that, you can, but don't be discouraged if your numbers didn't look very good. Um, but going back to that, plugging one over mass in for the slope, we have one over the mass times force. So that, again, gets us Newton's second law. Um, and this was the big takeaway from this lab. Uh, as much work as it was, um, these, this is the uh, driving force of our fifth standard.